it right now. Banana peanut butter, banana peanut butter, banana peanut butter. I want it right now. Banana peanut butter. When I get hungry and I really need a snack, and my tummy starts growling like it's going to attack, I turn to my daddy and I say, Hey, dad, hand me a banana, pretty please, and just a tad of peanut butter on a spoon. Make it quick, make it soon. I'll let you get it ready while I sing this tune. Banana peanut butter, banana peanut butter, I want it right now. Banana peanut butter, banana peanut butter, banana peanut butter, I want it right now. Banana peanut butter. If you've never had this combo, here's what you gotta do. Hey guys, welcome to another week interview here in Pop Culture. I'm Andy. This is the creep, and uh, we are here for another exciting episode. Uh, for instance, we can review. This is the, this, this is the point in the, in the week where we're about to end our week, and you're probably ending your week, but we come to you live here on Facebook, and we show you things that come into the warehouse this week, uh, and last week as well, because we were not here last week. No, we weren't. No, we were all off on days off. Today isn't a day off. Today is a hard day of work, hard day of work involving showing you lots of cool things that have come into the warehouse, including new releases from Funko, from Factory Entertainment, from Mayan Studios, from Mattel, uh, from Jada, uh, Lanchelay, and more. It's very exciting. Another thing we do on this show is we give away some prizes. Uh, this week's prizes are, let me take a look at here. We've got this Indiana Jones uh, uh, die cast uh, Funko pop vinyl figure, and uh, not vinyl figure, pop metal figure. And we'll be giving this away uh, free for one lucky viewer. All you need to do to go into the running today is leave a comment on the feed. Yes, this very feed you're watching. People are commenting underneath this feed. You join in on those people because Luke is here. He's looking for names on that feed to put on the prize wheel. At the end of the prize, end of the episode, we spin the prize wheel. People win surprises. We'll be giving away more prizes than just that. What those prizes will be, I'll decide throughout the show. Uh, in my mind, I'll tell you at the end of the episode. Stay tuned. Uh, <laughs> In roughly one hour's time, there will be prizes to be given away, but we've got plenty to show you before then. So many fun things, and uh, I might start talking today about <laughs> some, um, some new releases. Halloween's coming up. It's October. It's the spooky season. I'm a big fan of the spooky season, uh, and what better way to... To, to get into the spirit of the spooky season by picking up some awesome new releases from our friends at Trick or Treat Studios, uh, including this uh, wonderful, um, you know, creep show, creep. Uh, it's a little hanging, little, uh, little, little. Definitely little, not a smash. Little, uh, little howdy do. Yeah, no, you can smash. That's what he's gonna look like. <laughs> um, you can smash oh, him against the wall. Mama. Against the wall. Um, you know. Well, the bed, I don't know what you're interested in. Uh, anyway, this is fun. Trick or Treat Tito. Life size creep, uh, hanging ornament for a wall or a tree. Or oh, you look good in a tree. Or a fence post, maybe? Out from underneath the bed would be yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. He's got uh, some wire in his arms. You can pose him and you can wave to the friends at home. A uh, lot of fun there. We've got some other cool things for Trick or Treat to show you, uh, including a, a huge amount of new um, masks. We've got, um, we've got uh, what is it, Lurtz from Lord of the Rings. Yeah. And uh, the crimping on this, this, mm. this hair is it's very yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, How ooh, does that feel yes. as a texture? Uh, inside, okay. Outside, ooh. Um, He's been on the Pantene yeah, for sure. Latex mask, um, but this is one of the deluxe ones. It's a full head mask and includes um, some like rooted hair and it's very impressive. It's very, very lifelike. And um, you can you can um, go as um, one of the orcs. Mm. Taste a bit of man flesh. Halloween, um, which is cool. Uh, speaking of man flesh, um, yeah, Frankenstein. Uh, various men's flesh uh, put together um, in exciting new combinations. Oh boy. Uh, so this is a fun vacuum form mask uh, of the Universal Monsters Frankenstein, Boris Karloff. Uh, it's very fun. A um, bit more on the, uh, you know, if, you, if, you're, if you're shopping on a budget this Halloween, uh, this is very, very good quality vacuum form plastic uh, and a nice elastic strap there as well. Um, comfortable. Uh, but not necessarily pretty non-committal as far as costume goes. You can just lift it up and suddenly, hey, you're good to go. Seems a bit more breathable. Covered in hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's fun. 
What else have we got here? Uh, we have another orc. Which one's this? Is the main it's one from, from the hobbit? Yeah. 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 A little bit of scarification there. Mm hmm. Uh, sculpted in there. Which is oh, cool. so you look through under the eyes? You look under the eyes. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's, that's another mask. Oh, you gotta put it on for a minute. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, ooh. Uh, from uh, Return of the Living Dead. Is this Tarman? I think it is. Yes. Your Tarman mask. <laughs> that's the head. <laughs> I love this little rooted hair yeah. there on top. Um, this is great. I like this one a lot. This one you're looking over the eyes. Um, and there's some nice spine details on the back there. Mm, um, juicy. Classic character. Uh, we have hair. Um, <laughs> what do we got? We've got, uh, we've got uh, Spiral, <laughs> like I'm doing right now. Uh, we've got uh, Spiral from Book of Saw. We've got the Spiral Killer costume. Includes the hooded coat. Doesn't come with the pig mask, but um, everything you would need for a nondescript black costume. Um, that's exciting. Oh no, we forgot the beret. No, we didn't forget the beret. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, it was a strategic choice? Well, no, we, I forgot the beret. It was yeah. Friday. <laughs> forgot all about the beret. Sorry, friends at home. Um, what do we got? Uh, from the monsters, we got Lily Monster. This is from the non Rob Zombie monsters. I Things from the non Rob Zombie Monsters um, the classic the reg. series, regular monsters. Um, so that's fun. The hair on all of these is really impressive. They're really detailed um, costumes. Um, you're really going to look the part. Um, yeah, like it's not all just like straight up and down or like they're all kind of styled. They're, they're, yeah, they're very well put together. Um, also in Monsters, we've got the Grandpa Monster. His eyebrows are intense. <laughs> Is it bad that I've never seen the monsters? Nope. Uh, no, it's an old it's an old TV show, and um, the new movie. I wouldn't, wouldn't waste your time. Um, the Herman Monster. So much hair. Complete with flat head. Um, with those lips. So look at the. They're all so smiley. Um, well, yeah, they're happy. Little happy monsters. little monsters. I'm gonna have a fun time trying to put these back in the right bags. Um, what do we have here? Uh, this is uh, Kill Her Goats. And I don't know what that is. Is that a play on words? Yeah, it is. Like kill her goats, but kill her goats. Kill her goats. Uh, this looks to have been seven. Oh. Looks to be one of the goats that have been killed. That belongs to her. The eyes are really gross on this. I think most gouged? of this is really gross. Um, oh, yeah, it's got, it's got some good teeth action. Um, mm. Yeah, interesting, this one. It's fun to touch. <laughs> Andy has textural issues. I do have textural issues. This is actually, this is, I really wanted to get this out of the way. Um, we got Toxie. And Toxic Crusaders. Oh, hell yeah. This is good. a fun one. Yes. Yes. Uh, if you have a mop at home, maybe you are already there. Maybe this is maybe this is the perfect costume yep. for you. This one, this one's actually really nicely put together. Um, the sculpting on this is insane. Here we go. It's a good costume, actually. You just need to rip up some of your existing clothes. Yeah. This one I like a lot. The knobbly textures are great. Mm. How do you feel like there's little pock marks? No, I there? really hate touching everything. Like it's very, <laughs> my hands. <laughs> 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 um, what else we got? What else we got? What else we got? Uh, we have from Dungeons and Dragons. We have the uh, is it the mind flayer, Luke. Yeah, yeah it's the mind flayer. Um, looks like Zoidberg. It does look like Zoidberg. <laughs> That's the one you choose to put on? This one seemed the safest. <laughs> it matches your it actually, jumper. Yeah, it actually is working real well with Hey, I'm going to keep talking about this. Uh, let me just put these down. <coughs> <laughs> 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 
the way the weight of the tentacles is a bit much. <laughs> um, uh, so we got the mind flayer. <laughs> She's a lot of lot of fun. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, we have from uh, Dead Silence. We have the the doll. I can't remember its name. Mm. No. Not creepy at all. I don't cool. like it. And uh, the last one in this box of things that we have loaded on the website recently from Trick or Treat Studios <laughs> is uh, from Fear Street, the Netflix show that came in three parts. We have uh, the the Hessian Killer Mask, um, which is which is quite I cool. Like that. I've never heard That's of this fun. movie, Fear Street. Yeah, it was actually pretty good. Uh, so it is. Um, Three different, <clears throat> part one, part two, part three, three horror movies that were released like a, a week or a fortnight apart mm. a couple of years ago as part of like Netflix's um, oh, so it's October offering yeah, a couple okay. years ago. So this was, uh, yeah, I think it was based on a series of R.L. Stein books. Oh, Goosebumps. But diff- like different ones, oh, like Goose. called Fear Street. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's more, it was more like an, a, more of a, a young adult Right. Uh, yeah, it's a slight goosebumps older. rather than like yeah, kids' yeah, goosebumps. Yeah, yeah, okay. um, but I enjoyed them. The movies were quite good. They were pretty. There was some some gory bits. There was one scene, one of them I remember, um, where there was a um, like a deli in the supermarket and a slicer. Oh yes. Yeah. I like oh. where this is going. Yeah. So I that was that was that's that's one of the kills I can remember. A lot yeah, of them were set in like a mall. And then there was another episode, there was another movie of it where they went like back in time. It was more of like a like a, it was a camp one, and then there was like a serial killer city one in the mall, and then there was one that was um, in like um, like a settlement in the United States, like okay. East Coast settlement, in like seventeen cool. hundred, like witchiness, yep. witchy stuff. So Sweet. there were yeah, a couple Sweet. different couple of different genre ones taken into account, but it was a pretty good pretty good. Um, Series. These are my picks from this. Yeah, they're good. These two ones are good. Um, really itchy now. Um, anyway, here. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, from uh, if you're just tuning in, we're giving away a diecast of Indiana Jones. Uh, this episode, just leave a comment on the feed to go in the running. You might end up with your name on the prize wheel, and that 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 wheel is a wheel that we we spin. Um, at the end wheel, of the episode. Really, really special. Um, to see who's going to win some prizes. Uh, I've got more prizes I'm going to give away as well. Um, but that, Indiana Jones, is definitely coming to someone today. Uh, speaking of Funko, we've got some fun new things. I'm going to start on this side of the table. We've got some fun new things from Funko. Might start here, actually. We've got some pins. Um, some Nightmare uh, Before Christmas pins. Uh, pop pins featuring um, Jack Skellington in various forms of Jack... Jack Skellington pins um, uh, in pop form. So, uh, it looks like pop one, but. Pop pins. Small pop, pop pins. pins. Little pop. Pop pin, funny. Um, and then Captain Marvel? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, Captain Marvel, the Marvels. The Marvels. This is a movie that's coming out uh, this year. It is the sequel to Captain Marvel. It's not Captain Marvel 2, no, because there are more Marvels uh, involved, including. Miss Marvel from uh, the TV series Miss Marvel. Um, we have also uh, Photon, who you might know from WandaVision. Um, uh, and uh, we have uh, Captain Marvel um, as well. From Captain Marvel. I <laughs> uh, haven't seen her since uh, Endgame, so I wonder what she's been up to during COVID. Um, what do we got? Uh, we got Aquaman 2, uh, which is called Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Um, and this is Storm. This is a seahorse. Um, that's interesting. Uh, we've got Black Manta. It's going to be the, the main villain in that, I believe. And we've got mm-hmm. Aquaman Again. in a blue and purple Smash. suit. Um, yeah, you could. You could. Um, from <laughs> also from Funko, we got some sodas, a couple of new sodas. 
So this is uh, Alan Grant, Dr. Alan Grant from uh, Jurassic Park. And uh, there, soda comes with the chance of a chase, and this is actually the chase piece. So that's what Alan Grant looks like um, as the mainline release. It's all limited edition, um, but that's the main version of it. Here's the chase version. It's got his glasses where when he steps out of the car and he sees the, the Brachiosaurus for the first time and he lowers his glasses. And then, because he's, he's in awe of seeing dinosaur for the first time. Um, so th those are those glasses. Yeah. I'm sure you would do the same thing if you saw a dinosaur for the first time. I, I certainly would. Uh, oh, but, and you'd be doing no, I would leave mine on, you me. I'd leave mine on because I need mine. I'd see it better with them on, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't actually. Uh, we have Hatbox Ghost from, um, from, uh, from uh, uh, what is it called? Haunt, Haunt Mansion. Words! Uh, I think this might glow in the dark. Let's find out. Do we need some lights? I don't know. I don't know if it's going to glow yet. No, I don't think it glows. No, I think it's just ghostly. Like a translucent. He does not glow, folks. He is just translucent blue to look like a ghost. Um, there is a chase piece. Maybe the chase piece glows. <clears throat> that sounds like something that would probably happen. But anyway, that's fun. Hatbox ghost. Uh, we've got some pops that have come in. We've got uh, from WWE. We've got, uh, I'm going to say WWF because, WWF because all of these are quite classic designs that probably date back um, pre-2002 um, when they switched from World Wrestling Federation to World Wrestling Entertainment. Um, we have uh, Vader. We have John Cena. Uh, we have uh, The Rock. And we have uh, Ravishing Rick Rude. Um, he certainly is ravishing. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, from the office, we have uh, a series of fun run uh, pops based on the fun run episode where Meredith um, breaks her breaks her hip. Um, we've got fun run Meredith. We've got uh, fun run Dwight. Uh, we've got fun run Andy with his um, bleeding nipples, and we've got uh, Michael with the check, uh, which is cool. Uh, from Parks and Recreation, we have another episode-specific line of characters. This one is the horny goddesses, goddesses, god goddesses, 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 goddesses. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> the horny goddesses. It's just a little sound right coming out of my mouth. I don't know if I'm saying it wrong. Goddesses, goddesses, goddesses. goddesses. Obviously, you don't say right. it enough. Goddesses, That's goddesses. Fine. Yeah, you're goddesses. right. You've got it like five times now. Leslie Nope is a horny goddesses. April Ludgate as Pawnee Goddesses. <laughs> Ann Perkins as Pawnee Goddesses. Uh, Ron Swanson as Pawnee Rangers. And Andy Dwyer in his Pawnee Rangers. Uh, Pawnee Goddesses. The box says Goddesses because he's got the sash, right? Because he starts out as a Pawnee Ranger, but then he just wants to switch because it's more fun. And then Ron's left there um, with a tarp um, and a box. On his lonesome. That's a good episode. Uh, so we've got some fun new Parks and Rec pops. Uh, we've got some pops that are celebrating uh, uh, 100 years of Warner Brothers being a, um, a, 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 uh, a production company. Um, one of them is uh, from the film 300. We have Leon Leon Leonidas um, from the film, and from the film Mad Max, The Road Warrior. Here we go. Here we've got uh, the Humongous, we've got Wes, and we've got Max. Um, there he is. There he is, Mel Gibson in pop form. Um, who would have thought people were brave enough to make Mel Gibson merchandise? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we've got a couple of Marvel pops up here. We've got Black Panther in a kind of a classic retro um, look. Uh, we've got Captain America um, in a comic book uh, design here. Uh, and we've got the Hulk. Does he come with a pin? He does come with a pin. I yeah. He comes with the pin and Hulk comes with the pin as well. Celebrating, um, uh, what is it? It's like 70 years of the Avengers. 60 years of the Avengers. Um, not 70, not, they're not there yet. Um, but yeah, you get a pin because they're commemorative, um, which is cool. Uh, and we've got some um, holiday themed Disney releases. We've got Minnie Mouse, uh, Gingerbread Minnie Mouse. We've got a Gingerbread Mickey Mouse. Um, we've got uh, Donald Duck and he's Christmassy because he's holding... Um, it's holidays. It's it's a uh, it's a um. It's holding the um the dreidel, um, and we've got uh, we've got uh, Goofy, 
um, with a present. Which cool. Um, from Creepshow, we've got uh, Geordie Verrill and he is flocked. Um, this is a really fun pop design. The flocking on that yeah, is good really, really nice. Um, <laughs> really nice. Uh, we've got uh, from Power Rangers, we've got Ranger Slayer. Um, we've got, uh, what do we got? We got, uh, we got Toucan Sam blocked. Cute. Um, we've got uh, Minato Namikaze. Uh, this is actually exclusive. I don't know why it's in this pile. Oh, I'll walk you over here. This is the place you can go. Walk up here. We're going to come back to you. Um, and we have uh, Nazuko Kamado from Demon Slayer. <laughs> Haven't had one of those in before. Um, Uh, what have we got? We got some. We got some. We got some more deluxe style releases. Uh, they are doing a commemorative um, uh, forty years of Return of the Jedi release uh, of a builder scene of Jabba the Hutt's skiff, which is a little, um, a little ship that goes alongside um, the barge, and yeah. um, where they where they're fighting um, the one where Boba Fett gets no- Boba Fett gets knocked off. Yeah. Uh, but this is Han Solo. Before Han's, they fall into the he should be pit. he should be very hard of sight in because in this scene that's you, you can't yeah. see see still because he's just come out of um, yeah. Oh, just, it would have yeah, been good for him like squinting. It actually. would have been yeah. yeah. But no, he looks like he can see, but really he can't. Not not in canon. Um, and we have another release in this, and this is um, Lando Calrissian uh, in disguise there. Um, Smash. So yeah, Ooh, that mask. You can. You can. <laughs> Why not? Um, so, so far they've had Luke, Chewie, Han Solo, and Lando Corizian uh, release. The other two releases are now up for pre-order, so you can book a whole set uh, for your collection. That'll look sweet, um, all put together. You put it together and it'll look like the skiff yep. that it is intended to look Don't like. Don't keep it in the box, folks. Take it out. Some of, them have, some of them have end pieces, so that it does, it does fit together Yeah, pretty, pretty nicely. Uh, we've got some six inch pop releases from Overwatch 2. We have Winston. Um, don't know how it differs from him in Overwatch 1, but here he is. Um, this one has a two in it. It certainly does. <laughs> um, from uh, Naruto, we have Zetsu. Um, super sized pop there. And we have um, from uh, Diablo uh, 4, we have uh, Lilith. And this is the glow in the dark Lilith. So. I'm just going to say, I'm assuming it is going to be the eyes. And the wings. Or the chest. Do some cool glowy demon stuff. Something about this glows in the dark, and I'm going to leave it to you fine um, customers to find out. You'll have to buy, <laughs> <laughs> to buy it to find out. Um, the last uh, deluxe uh, pop we've got here is Triple H as the Skull King sitting on a throne, um, which is a reference. I, I just stopped re- watching wrestling before this, but that must have been a character he had, which is kind of dumb. Mm. Um, I liked when he was Hunter Hearst Helmsley. The uppity private school lad who had three names because he was high society. Um, oh. Also from Funko, we've got some pops. More, <laughs> more stuff. Uh, we're talking about Fort Funko, uh, uh, pop culture exclusive release, Minato Namikaze, uh, Nine Tail Chakra Mode. I don't know anything specifically about this, but this is, I think, Naruto's dad, maybe. And then. You can get it in this nine tail chakra mode uh, exclusively from us. Get in mystery box. You can get it um, by itself. I think still maybe if it's still in stock. Indiana Jones uh, and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Of course, this is one of the most iconic opening sequences in all of cinema. And Funko have immortalized it in die cast metal um, in, inside. What is their die cast uh, uh, pop? 
uh, uh, line. This is the eighth release, but the ninth actual release is the eight, number eight, but it was released ninth. I don't know why, but that's what's happened. Uh, but here he is, number eight. It is uh, Dr. Um, Doc, Dr. Jones. Um, he's got the Golden Idol, um, and he's got his whip, and he's made of metal. And there's a one in six chance that you can actually get a uh, chase piece, which is all brushed metal, no paint. Um, so imagine him all silver. Um, would have been good if this one gold. was like all gold. Yeah, would have been really fun. That. Yeah. Um, but anyway, he's good. You can tell he's metal because he's got screws in his head to hold him together because mm. he's so heavyweight. Yeah. Uh, the acrylic boxes in this are really, really nice. Um, they have all the die lines that you would see on an actual pop release. Um, but in a nice acrylic box. So uh, this, is, uh, this is my favorite line that Funka do because this packaging um, is really nice. It's a fun way of bringing this into something that's a bit more of a display item. Um, and this box uh, is you know, intended for, for um, displaying your collection. That's um, good, keeps the dust off. You can see the whole thing you too. You can, from any angle. Cool. It's, um, it's really nice. I really like it a lot. And they come packaged in this nice protective. All of this is just chock full of foam. Um, and uh, yeah, um, comes with the, the printed Funko sticker there um, with a lot of spot varnish and uh, foil detailing. So really premium product, really fun. You can get it in a bundle. Um, so this is $90 by itself or $150. You can get uh, three uh, die cast releases. Yes, you can get uh, Indiana Jones, you can get Darth Vader and you can get Mickey Mouse, all for $150. So. Uh, for an extra sixty dollars, you can get another two. Um, so you're saving die cast. money. You are saving money. You are saving money by buying the bundle. You 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 don't even believe it. If you just you just have to jump online uh, to www.popculture.com.au and search diecast Indiana. That'll work. Diecast all one word, no no dash. Uh, ignore how it's written on this box. Diecast D I E C A S T um, Indiana, uh, or just diecast Jones, or just diecast arc that'll no <laughs> you're, you're giving too many options now page. just tell people one thing just just look up indiana jones uh on the website and you'll find this uh and you'll also find a bundle <laughs> with a couple other classic disney projects because that's disney now it's that's as much disney as star wars is disney so um you know the mouse is there you can get the mouse and you can get darth Vader, and you can get indiana jones um and you better buy that before disney buys them all because they Disney buy everything because they bought this. They didn't used to have that, but they have that now. Um, so save money, buy one today. <laughs> um, some other fun releases that we've had come in. Uh, we've got a couple, couple of pop culture exclusive Miss Marvels from the Marvels film that I was talking about earlier. Uh, we've got uh, Miss Marvel here with um, a embiggened punch. The punch is bigger. Embiggened. Embiggened. <laughs> Embiggened is the word. Um, and we have a glow in the dark Miss Marvel, whose um, other 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 things she's created have they glow. They glow in the dark. Um, there is a version in this pile. This one down here. This one doesn't glow in the dark. Ah. So no glow in the dark. No glow in the dark. Glow, glow in, the, in dark. the dark. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we also have Captain Marvel, and then we have Captain Marvel with a black suit. Yep. And then over Ooh. here we've got Nick Fury with uh, the, it's, it's the cat. Uh, we have uh, we got Photon. Um, we have Prince Jan or Jean or Jean. <laughs> We've got Dar, Dar Ben, and we have Miss Marvel. Um, non glowy. Non glow, which we already already established was. Hey, uh, Stranger Things. Um, people remember Stranger Things four came out last year, but is still relevant as the most recent series of Stranger Things because they take a long time to make new Stranger Things seasons. So this is going to be, hey, yeah, the most recent Stranger Things season for a couple of years. Uh, we have Vecna, and this Vecna glows in the dark, um, and we have Eleven. And she's wearing no shoes. Uh, we've got uh, number one, Henry. Um, this is the second release of Henry. I think the first one was released as a mm. Comic-Con exclusive this year. They still have that in stock, but you can grab this Henry. 
um, as well. Um, we have Eddie Munson, and he's a different sculpt of Eddie from last time. And we've got um, we've got Robin in her uh, like her hunter outfit. She's, she's wearing there. a beret. She's got a beret. There hey, go. Robin, Robin remembered it. Um, she's also got a Molotov cocktail. Yeah. I was talking about those you yesterday. You were too. There's a lot of things lining up. <laughs> yeah. Because um, that's what I do. Hey, we've got uh, from the Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Um, we've got uh, Diamond Collection uh, Aquaman. He's, he's diamond glitter. Shiny and um, textured. Little textures, little bumpy textures. I How do you like feel it. about that? You wouldn't probably want to like like scale mail. Mm, hang on. Well, let's get to this some people. Not great. You don't feel great about it? No, 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 not great. Uh, but that's that's why they've got this non-diamond glitter version just for me, um, <laughs> which is really great. But you know what? Even the scales on that kind of look a bit. Ify. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Aquaman from Aquaman Life Kingdom. We've got Orm. Um, we've got Atlanta, Atlanta, the last city of it, Atlanta. That's a, that's a Futurama. That's a good. That's, I was watching that recently. Actually, I forgot how good an episode that is. Yeah. Anyway, we've got uh, we've got Aquaman in um, a different color suit. Blue suit. Blue suit. Uh, we've got Storm, the seahorse. Um, we've got Doctor Shin. Medicine woman. <laughs> <laughs> That's the stupidest joke I've ever made. We've got Mira. <laughs> and we've got Black Manta um, there as well. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, we've got some Disney ones. We've got Jack Skellington here in pop form, just like those pins. Um, he's taking his head off. It's cool. Uh, we have um, a uh, Mickey Mouse Club, Mickey Mouse, celebrating 100 years of Disney. It's, um, there he is. Um, M-I-C-K-E-Y. Mouse Club. Um, Disney's, so Disney is celebrating 100 years and they're releasing a heck of a lot of product. Um, one of the newer lines, because they've, 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 I feel like they've hit their limit on, on like the, the foiled Disney 100 line, and they're like, what else can we do to celebrate this? Well, why don't we make some retro colorway um, releases of, um, of, of uh, Disney characters? Uh, this is retro reimagined. Uh, we have Mickey Mouse in kind of a pastel washed out colorway that I think is meant to look like um, old. Faded. Oldness. Yes. Like, it, it kind of looks like if you put this on a shelf for it's 60 years. Way back when. They didn't know about vibrancy. No, they didn't. UV. Yeah. We've got... Um, it was a wash out. We've got uh, Tiana, the Princess and the Frog, retro reimagined. Uh, we've got Boba Fett, retro reimagined. And this is him, in, like comic book lines and... Another washed out colorway based on the, the holiday, holiday special. I do kind of like that one there. Well, I like all of these. Uh, kind of got like a comic book sort of treatment to it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so those are fun. And uh, if you thought we were done with Funko, well, no. Uh, still a bit to get through. Um, from We've got some, some larger form figures uh, from Stranger Things 4. We've got Vecna with the Creel house. Um, that's a pop town. Where they have non-scaled pop figures with non-scale, well, regular pop figures with non-scaled houses, but if you put it, if you distort some perspective and put them in front, maybe it, maybe it'll line up. Uh, but you got to take it out of the box to make that happen. Uh, we have uh, from Naruto Shippuden, we have Pain versus Naruto, um, which is cool. Uh, from the Marvels, we have Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel, and Photon, and they're all jumping or. Various climbing, they're they're moving. They're all moving together with powers. Um, and we've got uh, from Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. We have uh, Aquaman and Storm. Apparently, he rides this seahorse, and this seahorse is much bigger than I was anticipating mm. it being. Um, funny that. Funny how things work. 
how you see things and then you don't know what things are going to be and then things end up being different things. And then you have to talk about them. Yep. Uh, Iron Man. Um, here's a pop comic cover. This is Iron Man number one. Yeah. 39? Tales of Suspense, number 39. Tales of Suspense! Tales of Suspense is Iron Man's first appearance in Tales of Suspense. Um, that's what Iron Man looked like. His first suit. <clears throat> it's um, an interesting pose they went with that, sort of hunched over... Yeah. Pose. Well, they had to fit the title cut above his head. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just shrink him down a bit? They definitely did the they did the the, the lettering before <laughs> they drew him in. He started drawing from the legs up. <laughs> I'm not in that room. Oh no! <laughs> We've all been there. Um, he is a classic cover. Uh, it's Spider Man. Uh, Imagine Spider Man number two hundred and fifty two. It's the first appearance of the black suit. Um, <laughs> And there he is swinging, but without people on him. It's just not exactly like it. Normally these are kind of like how they look in the, in the, um, like Iron Man's hunched. Mm -hmm. And he's swinging. Um, but that's cool. Uh, other different uh, pop cover rest things we have are pop albums. Uh, where you have a uh, uh, figure in front of the album artwork that it's inspired by. Uh, this is the Go-Go's album Vacation. Which is the, um, the, yeah, it's fun. They look like they're having a fun vacation. They do. The sculpting on the, the board and the waves is really fun. I like the hair. That's nice. Uh, so that's cool. That is not everything yet from Funko. Um, but wait, um, there's more. Yeah. Well, wait. <laughs> um, so much more. Have a two pack. Uh, of the Usos, Jay Uso and Jimmy Uso, um, wrestlers who are Rikishi's children. Um, so you can get them in a two pack. Um, we've got another retro reimagined Star Wars line with R2D2 and C3PO, and on a nice um, plaid um, backing card there because. Plaid was everywhere in Star Wars? Uh, plaid was relevant in the, the 70s and. Um, Maybe my that's, wardrobe. Yeah. yeah. How they're, they're playing to the oldness. Oldness of it. It's fun. It's got a nice camping picnic vibe to it. Uh, we have a five pack of The Cure, including Jason Cooper, Reeves Gabriels, Robert Smith, Simon Gallup, and Roger O'Donnell. You can get them all. The keyboard there. Is that keyboard separate? I think the keyboard's separate, that's fun. If you just want a little keyboard, you can get this. Um, we've got, uh, yeah, the Cure, little drums. It's fun, that's nice, that's a nice uh, five, five pack, five pack. You can grab that uh, if you'd like. Um, and that, uh, no, um, <laughs> we got some pop pins um, with a stand. Uh, they, made, they specify now, with stand. Um, we've got uh, some, uh, Christmas ones, uh, we're gonna glow in the dark Eeyore. Um, and, uh, which is cool. Uh, we've got uh, glow in the dark Winnie the Pooh, Christmas Winnie the Pooh. Uh, we've got uh, Minnie Mouse, glow in the dark. Mm. And um, Mickey Mouse, glow in the dark. And these are really fun, different layers of like um, depth on these. Um, uh, yeah, very neat. Um, and you'll look pretty neat wearing one of these. Cute stuff. Uh, we got some Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog ones, um, including Sonic the Hedgehog, and it's got some sweet glitter lines there. Um, mm. Goes in the dark as well. We've got um, Knuckles. We've got Tails. And we've got Super Sonic. With a nice. So that's fun. That is everything we've got to show from Funko. Let's take a look at some fun new things from Lounge Fly. Uh, so All right, you've got 15 minutes for the rest of the table. <laughs> Drops everything. Uh, no pressure. Uh, uh, we, uh, uh, <laughs> a snowflake, headband. Snowflake headband. Uh, Minnie Mouse snowflake headband. You can take off the bow and make it a Mickey Mouse snowflake headband. 
That's pretty neat. Uh, we have a line of Nightmare Before Christmas um, releases, including this um, uh, uh, wallet, uh, which features all of your, um, three of your um, favorite characters, uh, Zero Sally and Jack Skellington, um, and uh, the, the, the snake eating the, the tree. Um, so there's this in this, this line. We also have the crossbody bag that looks like a wreath with teeth. Oh, I like that. Wreath with teeth. Wreath, wreath with teeth. Um, and uh, all some more characters scattered around there that look like this, but like they're on a, a, a ring of li- a, a, a string of lights. Um, so they're like the lights in the wreath, um, which is cool, nice and festive. Uh, <clears throat> and again, on the back, it'll have a strap so you can put a strap on. Uh, also glows in the dark. And it also glows in the dark. And we've got uh, this Christmas tree bag. Um, which same thing there on the, the strings of lights and uh, the snake's actually coming around the whole thing this time to look like tinsel. That one's pretty fun. Um, and on the top you've got uh, the Pumpkin King um, head there and then on the back, same design. The shape of this is really, really good. You have, um, I would have thought that these would have been like zipper pockets, but mm. they're, the they're not. It's just got one compartment. Can you... Is that area accessible? Let me uh, feel around the side. Accessible. Is it, uh, is it space inside the bag? Yeah, so there are these lines that um, limit, like, like... How much you can put in yeah. at the top. So I can, I can get inside all of these little bits, but, um, uh, yeah. Put, like, I don't know. So technically you could fit more in the bag. You can fit, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty neat. I That's like it. That's a good that. one. Uh, also from Lounge Live, we've got um, a line of uh, Mickey and Friends uh, in a nice little tropical safari theme. Um, I like the colors on these. The texture on this is cool. These are all little, like um, debossed inside. You got stitching on some of these flowers. Um, uh, the characters really pop on this. Um, there's a giraffe. Uh, there's a little little monkey or lemur or something. Yeah, birds stitched. Mickey cut out. Yep. Cute. This bag's got the front of that's great. Ah, oh, it's like a little Jeep 1926. Ooh. I'm assuming this is based on one of the films um, that little was probably released. Splatter on the wheels and stuff's cool. Um, a lot of fun. You got Chip and Dale there, um, uh, and yeah, very similar to the the wallet, but. Bigger, and you've got uh, yeah, um, little enamel Mickey Safari um, zipper pull um, with a nice like brass backing there. I really like that that brass color. It's really nice. Um, we have uh, a festive gingerbread Mickey um, and mini backpack that comes with some ears that you can put on, um, and. Uh, or you can just slot them into the backpack here and they've got their own little compartment where you can hook them in. Um, and then you've got uh, another compartment in the back and the world's smallest drink bottle holder on the side. <laughs> I get like three sips in that. Um, we have, uh, um, before Christmas, we've got a fun little um, card holder um, of, um, the name's not coming to me. And, uh... Trick-or-treaters? No, they're not. Uh, uh, people use little menu. Lock, shock, and, and, lock, shock, and barrel? Yeah. That, yeah. That's what I thought it was. I just don't want to make an idiot of myself. Live, on Facebook. Sorry, um, <laughs> we've got this uh, festive fall Winnie the Pooh card holder. Oh, that's adorable. Um, and he's a pumpkin. And there's wood elements. And then there is a, some nice Halloween fall themes where they're all dressed up. Um... That is cute. Which is good. I, I really like the color, the colors on this. This is very much in, in line with my, um, yeah. Um, <laughs> what do we got? I think we got to, um, we to take that, that in. We've got the Loki? Uh, the Loki, yes. Uh, pop, uh, pop, pop by Loungefly. It is Loki as a pop figure. Uh, includes some really nice mm. um, metallic uh, detailing here. A scepter zipper pull, um, and um, yeah. Um. And the series started last night. 
did it. Yeah, season two. I better get home and watch that then. Uh, Ten minutes to get through the rest. Um, uh, woo. Hey. Jodie Cars. Uh, no, no, let's oh, do no? this first. Let's do this first. I'm going to get that down there. Uh, you know what, Luke? We're actually going to cut to records. Oh yes, let's do that. <laughs> and boop. Hello, welcome back to Pop Culture Records. I'm Kel. I'm going to talk about some groovy albums today. Our first cut of the rank, we're going to talk about a classic from the 90s, 1994's Green Day Dookie, 30th anniversary edition, can you believe? This beautiful box set comes with six different brown poopy coloured vinyls, or you can potentially, if you're not a vinyl head, get the CD pack, come on. Um, it comes with all the beautiful things you get in any box set, demos, outtakes, and even two live sets, one of them being the 1994 Woodstock performance, which is, you know, pretty cool. Um, it also comes with magnets and a bunch of other Green Day goodies that you can only get here in this box set. Um, there's also got the single LP version, which is um, just as good, just less things. But that's not a problem. Next record we're going to talk about is Blur, Ballad of Darren. Blur's ninth album, so, you know, we've done the damn thing. Um, Blur is so much more than song two. Um, it's a really good album. I think it's the best kind of thing you could hope for from a 90s band coming back. They're just doing it. They're just kind of, you know, I think any song in there, you can just let it play and it's a really good record to just listen to, um, as you know, you would like from an album. Um, one of the standout tracks I reckon is St. Charles Square. And, you know, we're very aware of what Damon Albarn does. He does gorillas. He's always modernizing kind of unlike his peers from the 90s. And um, it's a really good pickup. So if you're in the market for a new Blur record, get Bella to Darren. Next, we're gonna look at a soundtrack. Um, so this is the Barbie, the album, the movie, the everything. So this was the soundtrack to the new Barbie film. It's just kind of come out in the studios. Um, it's got Billie Eilish, Dua Lipa, Lizzo, Nicki Minaj, Ice Spice, Tame Impala, and of course, the reason why you're going to buy this album is Ryan Gosling's I'm Just Ken. If there's a way to listen to I'm Just Ken, it is on pink Barbie vinyl, okay? Um, started out as a joke between producer Mark Ronson and director Greta Gerwig, and they said, no, 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 this isn't a joke, this is happening. And really, it's just so iconic. One of the, one of the best soundtracks of the year, I think. Love you, Barbie. I've watched every film <laughs> in the cinematic universe. Last, and luckily not at least, is my darling, my angel, my angel Olsen, for her new EP, Forever Means. What does forever mean? It means take your time. Um, four track EP from Angel Olsen, her latest foray into music, follow up after Big Time from last year, which is another banger. Her country album, Out With The Bangs, In With The Twangs. Um, this album, well this EP, um, really beautiful follow-up to the, her last stuff, you know, she's an incredible songstress, incredible singer-songwriter, does the rock, does the pop, does the everything, but this EP in particular is really beautiful, haunting, and I don't use that often. Um, the sound of her voice is so beautiful, it gives me goosebumps, and it's also still just as sweet as honey. Um, the arrangement on the production is beautiful. I think this one, like, this one might have been recorded in Muscle Shoals because there's like a horn section and it is just, it's so tight, it's beautiful. It is gorgeous. Buy the CP, goddammit. It's beautiful. Anyway, that's uh, all from Pop Culture Records. See you around. Thanks, Cal. We're back here, live at HQ. We're going to speed run the rest because I've left no time. There's so much funko. Um, uh, all right, so we have some resoftables, which are plush. Uh, they are 100% recycled. Uh, they're made each from 13 uh, bottles that would have otherwise ended up in landfill. So these are a lot of fun. They are super soft. Um, and uh, we have this uh, True Heart Care Bear uh, from Care Bear. Unlock the magic. Um, we have... Um, <laughs> Uh, also from Care Bears, Unlock the Magic. Uh, Togetherness Bear, uh, also 100% recycled from 13 bottles. Uh, we have uh, from 10 <laughs> bottles, uh, Hello Kitty. Um, uh, safe uh, for children ages zero plus. So these, these are fun, fun way to be environmentally <coughs> conscious and also give your children things. Um, we have Minnie Mouse, made from 13 bottles. And uh, we have, uh, would you believe it, it's a Mickey Mouse, also made from da -da -da -da, 13 bottles. Uh, good on you, Mickey. Very soft, very fun, very bottles. Um, 
My Little Pony. Uh, it's a role-playing game. Uh, this is the core rule book, which is everything you need to start a campaign of My Little Pony. Um, I think Dungeons and Dragons, but for the same demographic. Um, <laughs> for them bronies. Uh, we've got a new year release. The Crimson King, stretch a deck. Here he is. Uh, cards. You get cards in this. Pokemon Skull and Violet. We've got the 151. Uh, it's the Elite Trainer Box, which goes back to the original 151 uh, Pokemon. Um, so in this, you get nine Pokemon training card games, Skull and Violet 151 booster packs. And I believe this is the only way to get the booster pack? No, so they're only available in packs and stuff. They're not available as individual yeah, like boosters. A, no, no, no little pack, no little packs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, you can't uh, buy the they're booster. All, they're all in these. More specialty products. So the Elite yeah. uh, Trainer Box is a good way to get nine of those booster packs, as well as one full up foil promo card featuring Snorlax, um, 65 sleeves, uh, 45 Pokemon trading card energy cards, uh, player's guide, yada, yada, yada. Uh, all you care about is the booster packs, which you can get nine in this box, um, and sleeves to put them in, which is a lot of fun. We've got toys, we've got some new Puzz Babies, little two packs of Tom and Jerry, uh, celebrating 100 years of Warner Brothers. Uh, here we have Tom and Jerry as Batman and the Joker. Um, Jerry is a little menacing there. <laughs> He's having a little too much fun. <laughs> um, we have uh, Superman, uh, two Supermen, um, Tom and Jerry, uh, also celebrating 100 years of Warner Brothers. We have um, some uh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter releases. We've got uh, Tom in Gryffindor. No, Tom and Jerry in Gryffindor and Slytherin House Robes. Uh, yeah, Tom's the cat. He's in Slytherin. Jerry's the mouse. He's in Gryffindor. And uh, we've got a more classic Tom and Jerry. Just Tom chasing Jerry, and Jerry's running. And he's got cheese. Like that. And that. Less like that. Definitely like that. Uh, also from Hot Toys Cosmetics, we have lots of with strawberry. This is a velvet hair version, so a flocked version. Uh, Cos Babies, they're a really good line of design of vinyl figures, uh, very much in line with what Funko are doing with the pop line. Uh, Hot Toys are doing with Cos Babies, but with the Hot Toys quality uh, uh, assurance, which is a lot of fun. Um, we have from Iron Studios a line of Minicos. Uh, these are stylized vinyl figures. We have Batman from Batman Forever, and he's trying to solve a puzzle that the Riddler has left for him. Uh, we also have the Riddler, um, Jim Carrey. In stylized form. That looks exactly like Jim Carrey. Um, from Falcon and the Winter Soldier, we have Captain America um, with full wings, which is cool. Um, we have from Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, we have Doctor Strange. Um, it's hovering. Where's his other arm? Where's his other arm? This one might be ulti. Has he got it tucked behind his cape? Mm. What's no. This? No, he's missing an arm. Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoops. Oh. Don't buy this one particular one. I'm sure the others have arms. Um, that's fun. Uh, we've got Blue and Beta from Jurassic World Dominion. Um, nice dynamic sculpt there. Uh, and from... Uh, we've got some Masters of the Universe items that have come in from Factory Entertainment. We Ooh. have Man at Arms. Uh, is it Ram Arms or Ram Mans? Uh, that's a good question. I think it's Ram Mans actually, now I'm thinking of it. Mace! Um, but it's got a nice uh, leather strap and I think this is... I think it's metal. Sounds like it. Yeah, I don't think it's polished and I think this one's actually metal, which is a lot of fun. Is really, it really heavy? Uh, Real leather is, too, right? It is weighty. I think it's buffalo leather on metal. Um, Man at Arms. Yep, yeah. Man at Arms. Yeah, yeah it's a lot heavy. of fun. <clears throat> um, not con safe. No, no, that no. Is, that 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 would that would um, yeah. Don't, yeah, you get don't the hit anyone with that. <laughs> um, we have some releases from Mattel um, in the Motu line. We've got uh, part of the Masterverse line. We've got uh, the Masters of the Universe Revelation Merman. Uh, we have Masterverse. Uh, we have Princess of Power, uh, the Evil Horde. Grizzlaw, and we have Master of the Universe, New Etonia, um, Buzz Off. I like that to be. Yeah. Um, from Playmates, we've got uh, some original eight, 1989 figures 
Uh, we've got me, uh, <laughs> we've got um, Michelangelo, and we've got uh, Leonardo, all straight out of 1989, just as you remember them. Um, yep, we were pretty great back then. Um, Michelangelo, just yeah, the original sculpts put back into production. Cool. I think that's neat. Yep. Cool. Um, because everyone's making new toys that are like, hey, remember new toys, but people like the old toys, you just get the old toys again. It's way better. Uh, from uh, Jada, Jada, we've got uh, some new releases, including some Fast and the Furious uh, releases. We've got uh, the 1969 Chevrolet El Camino from Fast 10. We've got Fast and the Furious 1995 Nissan Skyline GTR BCNR33. Um, from Fast and Furious, from Fast 10, we've got the 2021 Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat, and Fast 10, we've got the 2006 uh, Dodge Charger. Cool. Uh, we also have uh, from Fast and Furious, uh, in a larger scale, we have uh, the 2021 Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat, and we've got the Lamborghini Gallardo. And uh, me, I'm a big car guy, so I definitely appreciate <laughs> <laughs> these. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some uh, character mashups here um, from the Hollywood Rides collection. I think these are Hollywood Rides ones. Maybe they're not. Anyway, we've got uh, Captain America in 1972 Plymouth GTX. Um, we have She-Hulk um, with a uh, 1973 Plymouth Barracuda. Uh, we have uh, Star Lord in 1969 Ford Mustang. We've got uh, the Winter Soldier and a 1973 Chevrolet Camaro. And we have uh, Iron Man in 2016, Chevrolet Camaro. And we have Black Panther and a 1995 Mazda RX-7. Uh, and those are a lot of fun. Uh, and I think one last thing, no, a little bit more, uh, from Jada um, is the Diecast uh, Nano Hollywood Rides uh, Diorama set. Uh, which includes two little die-cast vehicles uh, and a um, little die-cast dinosaur. Going through the gates. I like that one. That one's really cute. It's the park gates from Jurassic Park. Uh, so we're in 30 years of uh, Jurassic Park. Um, uh, we've got some games to show you before we wrap up, uh, including a Harry Potter Guess Who. So that's a, that one's actually probably a lot of fun because if you're a big fan of Harry Potter, um, you're going to be able to ask very specific character, uh. specific questions. I think it'd be good. Like you'd ask questions like, are you a professor? No. Do you wear glasses? Yes. Are you a Ravenclaw? Yes. So there's a lot that you can actually base this off. I think that would be a lot of fun for people who know a lot about Harry Potter. Um, for people who know a lot of bit, a lot of things about um, Mr. Man and Little Miss, well, you can... <laughs> that want to be a nightmare to play. <laughs> are you round? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> do are you, you have red? long squiggly arms the suggestion is do they wear a hat <laughs> <laughs> are they blue um, are, you, are they smiling <laughs> are they a little miss off the board off the board wiped out yeah. um, so uh, that's a lot of fun uh, we've got a Monopoly Beetlejuice. Uh, you say it three times and maybe you win, I don't know, you win the game. You just you just get things from um, Undead. Uh, tokens, this is all anyone cares about. What do the tokens look like? You've got the wedding dress, you got the handbook for the recently deceased, you've got uh, the Beetlejuice tombstone, you've got skeleton key, uh, you've got Lydia's camera, and you've got uh, Charles Dietz's binoculars and uh, various um, Beetlejuicean um, references around the board. Uh, similarly, we've got a Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory Monopoly, oh, which I hope is buying rooms in the factory, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, let's look at the, the tokens. You have Willy Wonka's hat. We've got the, um, is it the Everlasting Cups Topper? Is that that one? Yes. Yes. Uh, you have Fizzy Lifting Drink. You have the uh, Golden Goose Egg. You've got uh, the Shrinking Ray Camera. And you have... Um, a lollipop? Yeah. 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 Huh. Um, we've got a Monopoly. Squishmallows Monopoly Collector's Edition. This comes with a limited edition. What? Cam the Cat Squishmallow. If you want this exclusive Cam the Cat Squishmallow, you have to buy this uh, original Squishmallows Monopoly featuring the exclusive Cam the Cat Squishmallow figure. Uh, 
it also comes with some pieces, the cam silhouette, uh, the feeling mellow thing, headphones, I'm not feeling a this. rainbow, sunglasses with Squishmallow S's on it, and a, and a, and a hang tag. <laughs> of course. Hang Great tag. colors though. The hang tag that's on the Squishmallow. That's... Wow. <laughs> What will that's, they think of next? That's the one you want, folks. Um, I think you've done it. Have you done it? Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. All right. Uh, time for prizes. My time. time for prizes. We're going to give away some prizes. This week's prize is the um, Indiana Jones diecast uh, uh, pop figure. Um, we're going to spin to this. Someone's going to win uh, Indy in diecast metal form. Uh, we're going to spin to see who's going to win. <laughs> The winner is Helen Blackwood. Congratulations, <laughs> Helen. You have won uh, Dark House Indiana Jones. We will send you a sealed unit so you have a chance of a chase. Um, well done. So that'll be fun. Um, please send us a private message on Facebook with your name, your personal information, or your email address, and we'll get that sorted uh, ASAP. Uh, we're going to spin now for the uh, Minato uh, Namikaze Ooh, sorry, uh, pop plan. release. Spin, see who's going to win this one. Winner is uh, Daniel Rad. Congratulations, Daniel. Uh, we're, we're going to be sending this your way. Just send us a private message on Facebook with everything you would want to put on a shipping label. We'll sort you out. Uh, we're going to spin one last time. I'm going to spin for this Loki pop backpack featuring Loki as a pop. Um, so uh, somebody's going to win this now. Um, I'm going to spin and see who's going to win. The winner is uh, Kelly Coffey. Congratulations, <laughs> you've won a backpack featuring Loki. Uh, please send us a private message to Facebook with your name, postal information, email address, we'll get that sorted. We're gonna spin one last time today for the two Miss Marvel releases Whoa. from this week. Um, someone's gonna win those, it's gonna be a lot of fun, but if someone's name comes up as already won this week, I'm gonna spin until we get mm. a new winner. All right, and Greg Mallow, congratulations. You have won Miss Marvel uh, Indignant and Miss Marvel Glow in the Dark. So congratulations. Just send us a private message on Facebook with your name, your postal information, your email address. Guys, next Friday night uh, 20 is our 2023 full convention exclusive release. Now, Friday the 13th, you have to stay up to midnight on Friday the 13th, technically 12 o'clock on Saturday the 14th a.m. Witching hour. The witching hour on Friday the 13th, spookiest time it's Friday 13th in October and you're waiting up to midnight and the witching hour and you're going to have to wait until that time because that is when we're releasing the Funko 2023 Fall Convention exclusives and uh, there's heaps of pop culture exclusive items that you can only get from us. Um, so jump online next Friday. Sit the sit, sit time aside. It's Friday night. Stay up late. Perfect time uh, to get some exclusives for your collection. Um, it's going to be it's going to be really, 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 really good. Um, don't miss it. Uh, we'll... <laughs> We'll probably we'll, we'll probably give you a, a a sneak peek next week at, at some of the fall items that will be available next Friday night because we'll be doing one more of these shows before that release time. But just put it in your calendars now. Next Friday night, don't make plans, don't make any social plans um, because you're going to be that's right um, at your computer. Clear that schedule. Clear it. Um, we won't be doing an in-store midnight release uh, because it's too spooky, um, but we will be doing a release at nine a.m the following morning uh, in our retail stores in Geelong. So um, come on down there as well. Uh, guys, it's been a week in review here at Pop Culture. I'm Andy. Uh, we've got Annie behind the camera and Luke running the show today. Uh, and we'll catch you next week for another exciting episode. But until then, stay safe and happy collecting, folks. Woo!